Hello. So welcome to the Painting 3 Watercolor Pencil Study. Um, this is a, another new project. <coughs> I'm sorry, it's kind of, kind of um, I've decided to redo some things in Painting 3 and, and you're kind of getting the bright end of it right now. Um, so in this one, um, there I want I still want to stay with watercolor. I don't want to do two watercolors and then stop. But this one is going to focus in on watercolor pencil. Um, and drawing two or three is also going to play around with this because it really is a medium that um, is kind of has a foot in both worlds when it comes to drawing and painting. Okay, so on your end of it, um, it says you know we're going to continue the practice from drawing from painting two. However, add watercolor pencil as your main technique. Complete the tutorials and start your project on stretched or unstretched watercolor paper. So it's your choice on this one if you want to stretch paper or not. If you remember drawing two we, or painting two, um, we did that for a project. Um, I'm a little torn on this one because um, I really do like the flexibility that you have, you know, with um, something being stretched because nothing ever, you know, ever curls. Um, but you shouldn't be using a ton of water on this anyways. And with with a pencil being sharp, you start pushing that against that um, that that uh, stretch piece after even if that's just dry, um, I think you're gonna have it you're gonna run the risk of putting a hole in it. Um, so on this one, kind of the way the tutorials are, I would I would more or less tape this down onto a board and just be a little conservative on your on your water on this. Use your water as almost like a blending stump, you know if you if you've had if you've had drawing already. So type in in YouTube, watercolor pencils tutorial for beginners, top seven techniques. It's about 13 minutes long. Um, this is a screenshot of it. Um, I want you to watch that um, and do those little uh, samples. Um, I have a watercolor set for you. Um, you just have to ask me and then you, you can borrow it. Um, and basic directions. And here's some examples of what watercolor, what you could do with watercolor pencil. Um, you know, find your watercolor chart if you have if you haven't grabbed that yet. Um, you know, watch the warm up video. Do that. Um, it says complete seven tips um, and one of the flowers. So I believe in that same tutorial, um, she shows you this, and, and I want you to practice it. Um, don't do both unless you really want to. Um, but I want you to just do do one, and it's like a four by six or five by seven um, piece of paper or watercolor paper that you can use. Uh, for that, uh, again, you might have to ask me for that if I don't have that already given to you. And then like everything else, once you're ready, get on your ideas approved here, you know, a discussion board and submit three of your ideas. Um, right now, there's actually four because this is one, two, three, four, five, and I can count. Um, so there's actually five. So you can get very abstract, you know, with these two cats. Um, you can get pretty realistic, you know, with this uh, piece here. And I would imagine... Um, that this one also has like ultra fine Sharpie marker on it, that if you want to combine materials um, together, that, that'd be fine. Just as this predominantly watercolor pencil. Um, and here's a real basic flower, you know, and like anything else and, uh, you know, painting three, you got to come up with a project that you feel is about 10 hours worth of work. So if you did this flower and only took you like an hour, you need to come up with more. Okay. Because it's supposed to be two weeks worth. Um, and two weeks worth to me is, you know, about 45 minutes a school day um, uh, kind of thing. And that's why we kind of get to our, our 10 hours. Uh, I'm rounding up. I know so maybe like eight. But but if it's if it only takes you an hour or two, you, you need to come up with something else. So it can be a series if you want to, um, as, as well as like you can decide on your size. I don't, I don't think I'd recommend going anything larger than 16 by 20 um, on this. But, um, but just talk to me and see what we can come up with. Um, in terms of what you're going to be graded on, you know, so strong, successful sense of watercolor techniques. Again, yours is primarily watercolor pencil, and you will learn how to use that. Uh, deep contrast to pull your colors out so it's not muddy. Okay, so again, your black or your indigo blue, which is your new black, um, is super important that you incorporate that to get those dark hues so your things pop out nicely. Okay, and obviously, you know, good craftsmanship, you know, how well it's done and make sure everything stays clean. Um other than that, you know, shoot me shoot me an email if you have a question or let me know and, and we can talk about it. Otherwise, good luck on your project. <laughs>